What's up everybody, welcome back to Bond's Box, I'm Bond, and today we're going to be unboxing the Ghost Recon Breakpoint uh, Wolves Collector's Edition. Um, so a couple things to note before I start this up, this is late because UPS got it to me a day late. I mean Ubisoft I guess might have been a bit better off posting it more than a day before, but there we go. Um, also, I apologise for my voice, I do have a cold right now so um, I feel pretty sick, but I, wanted to, I didn't want to delay this video any further. So hopefully you guys aren't too bothered by it. Um, so yeah, I mean, as you can see right off the bat, this box came with this just separate on top, um, which is the ultimate edition of the game, which is starting to become more of a trend with these collector's editions, I think, probably because they can easily just like mass produce the collector's editions, and then whatever platform you want, they can just toss it in extra without having to worry about, you know, setting out an Xbox One version and then having a ton of PS4s left over or whatever. Um, which does make sense from a, you know, a business standpoint, but it does kind of suck that you don't get everything in one nice neat package. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, if that's what we got to do to keep collector's editions going, then I'm all for it. Um, so we'll start off with, there is no wrapper on here. Simply just the, uh, the seal. So yeah, as with most Ubisoft things, it, the external game comes in these, uh, little boxes. It's got some graphic or whatever on it, kind of terrainy map thing. Um, so this is the ultimate edition of the game. Um, I don't think you could buy this edition without having the ultimate edition, um, which seems a bit strange since it's sent it separately, you think they just offer whatever edition you wanted. But anyway, as you can see it is Xbox One X Enhanced, it is HDR, the ultimate edition comes with the full game, as you'd hope, year one pass and bonus content. Uh, you on pass is play two upcoming adventures, get three classic early unlock and more. Three classes early unlock, sorry. Uh, plus the sacred land pack, survivor pack, and the off road pack. So here you have your code for those three packs that I just mentioned. Here's my code for the you on pass, so we'll be redeeming those. How to redeem your audio pack and change your language in game. Interesting. Here's an ad for another statue, along with multiple languages of warranty game instructions. Oh no, no game instructions. Tend you to go to the pause menu if you want instructions. And then here we have the game case, uh, the game case, the game disc, sorry, my head is all over the place today. Um, so yeah, that's the Ultimate Edition, so you can just buy the Ultimate Edition on its own. Uh, I believe in America the Ultimate Edition might come with a steelbook, but it didn't here in the UK as far as I am aware. Um, but we'll throw that away to one side for now, and we'll check out the main event, the one everyone's here to see anyway. Uh, okay, so all but one of these are already undone. Cool. Oh, so hang on. Right, before I get that out properly, you can see this box is pretty sweet. Let's see what. Ooh. It's got some writing on the side. I didn't notice this when I took it out. We are survivors, travelers, watched, scholars, judge, strangers, gods. I'll let you guys pause that and read it if you want. My voice isn't going to hold out for that long. <laughs> You are ghosts lost behind enemy lines. Ooh, and on this side we've got a logo and then man I can smell the plastic. Okay, so we'll put him over there. Uh so yeah, here was the Wolves Collector's Edition. We'll check out the side of the box real quick. I think that's the Wolf logo. There's the big bad himself. On the bottom, it's a bunch of legal safety stuff by the look of it. Um, let's, ooh. let's just get all of this out of the box real quick. Check it all out. So, yeah, let me, so on the inside here you can see it's actually a pretty cool. So you could easily just stand you know, your statue in there if you wanted. And it would have a pretty cool background, or if you don't, I mean, obviously, you don't have to. 
Um, we'll get to the step two last, because I'm a tease like that. Uh, we have selected game soundtrack. So we've got ten tracks. On a, in a cardboard sleeve case. That's what it looks like. Compact disc. Old school, not digital. A lot of the soundtracks these days, they give you are like digital codes or downloads. This is actually on a CD, which is kind of a dying format at this point, it seems. Uh, we have this map. I think this is meant to be waterproof, if I remember rightly. It feels like it's got something on it. So I'm guessing this is the map of the game, I guess. It looks quite small. It looks smaller than Wildlands, but it could just be super zoomed out and more kind of, you know, long. Um, so uh, we'll find out when I actually get to play it. And on the back we have kind of a pretty boring poster, I will say. Feels like that's just meant to be the back of the map, more than a poster. <laughs> um, See, I've been really looking forward to this game since I played Wildlands fairly recently, finally. Then I played the closed beta for this, and it was a ton of fun. Um, so here we have some... Let's check out this. Operation Greenstone, top secret. Sleeve for what I assume are just art cards, yeah. Some drones. On the back you have the Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Here we have... I'm not sure what that's meant to be. Is that supposed to be like Scales like headquarters or something? That's kind of like some sort of high tech. Here are the wolves. And playing on the back. So there's the three art cards. Alright, moment of truth with the steel book. Is it going to have a title on the spine? Is it going to be the correct way up? <laughs> I feel like. So here's the front of the steel book. Oh, we have the title on the spine, and it is the right way up. Thank you, Ubisoft. Thank you, finally. So we've got this logo again, which... I'm not sure if that's the Wolves logo. I thought the Wolves logo was this one. So I'm not sure what that one is, unless that's... It's not the Ghost logo. So, I don't know. Again, we've got this. Crossed out we, you are ghost. Crossed out sent, lost behind enemy lines. On the inside, ooh, that's a really nice inside. You've got the the wolves getting ready to kill something by the look of it. I do really like that interior. The interior is really nice. Check out a spread of the outside. So yeah, that's the steel book, which leaves us with just the statue itself. and get into without cutting up everything. Alright, I should be able Headphone users beware. Thing smells like plastic. Wow. <coughs> Whew. Um, let me get rid of this. Oh, there is one extra thing to show you guys. I forgot about that in the description there. Let's check this out last. Um, this is dog tags. Uh, we'll check out the statue though. I said that's what we'd check out. You got some silica gel. So if you're uh, building up your collection of silica gel, you got two packets here. Um, so here's the statue. It's not the biggest statue like you'll ever see. Um, obviously, you know you get some really big ones these days, but he's a nice size. Um, I'll get the game case here in a minute. Let's get his uh, let's get his equipment on, or I could just snap his fingers clean off. What the actual hell? They're supposed to come off? 
Maybe they're supposed to come off. I'm going to go with they're supposed to come off, and I really hope they are, because those didn't take much. If you, they expect me to get the gun in the hand without snapping the fingers off. That would be insane. Now I'm really nervous. There was no instructions or anything with it to say, oh, to get the gun in, make sure to snap his fingers off. Now I can't get them back in. Uh oh, I'm not sure that's meant to happen. I mean, they seem to be... Seem to be alright. They do come out really easily though. Oh, I'm really nervous about this one now. Because this gun is supposed to go in this other hand. Um, oh man. Please don't break. I waited a whole extra day to get this and I was breaking in my hand. Okay, sorry I took that off camera. I wanted to wanted to be extra careful with after what happened with that one. Um, so there he is with his gun and everything in hand. I said we we'll get some close ups so you can get some detail of him. Does look super cool. Does his mask come? Well, I'm not even trying that. His mask might come off intentionally or not. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so you got this nice kind of like windswept cape go going on. I do like that a lot. Obviously standing on this rock with some bullet casings. So it's obviously just shot somebody. Or they're just there from something else, I guess. So I'll show you next to the game case so you can see how big he actually is. So, like I said, he's not huge. Um, but he is a nice size, I would say. And, oh yeah. One last thing, we get Walker's dog tag. Obviously, Walker being the main bad guy. Uh, oh, this little plastic bag had the uh, Ghost Recon emblem on it. Didn't see that. So there you have the dog tags. You could actually wear them if you wanted to. Walker, Cole D, numbers. Is that supposed to mean a piece of shit? Or am I just, like, dirty-minded, I don't know, and the back is plain. And it's kind of uh, rubberized around the outside, like it would easily... You, I mean, you can pop it out if you wanted. Um, I'm not going to do that, am I? Okay, you can get it back on. So there we have it. That is the Ghost Recon Breakpoint uh, Wolves Collector's Edition. Um... So it is, but I think it's still available. I haven't checked in the last day or so, um, but it was not long ago, I believe, available still at the Ubisoft store. So like I said, it comes with the Ultimate Edition, which comes with like the Year One Pass, the extra content, all that fun stuff. You get this sweet-looking steelbook with, I mean, it's quite um, dark and it's not very colourful. Like, I mean, personally, my favourite steelbooks are always the really colourful ones, but I do really like this one all the same. Especially this interior. That interior is really cool. Uh, so you get that. Um, the three art cards, which like I said dog tags. Did I say I might start off with dog tags? I don't know. Dog tags anyway. Get this. I believe waterproof map. Um, like ninety nine percent sure it said on the thing that this is waterproof. Um, make sure to, if you get it, make sure to check that. Don't take my word for it before you start giving it a bath. The soundtrack CD, not just a digital code or anything and yeah okay. so like I said the digital content is the sacred land pack the survivor pack the off-road pack along with the year one pass so there we have it that is 
I've said that twice now, I apologise. Uh, I'm going to quit rambling. This is the Wolves Collector's Edition. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've picked this edition up, if you've been playing the game. I've been, like I said, I've been really looking forward to playing this game since, um, like, I played Wildlands. I finished Wildlands basically right before the closed beta came out. Uh, so I jumped right into that and I really, really liked, it felt like an advancement um, in the, from Wildlands. It felt like an actual sequel versus just kind of like more of the same. It was more of the same, but with more, like, it, it felt like what a sequel should be to me anyway, where it felt like it took a step forward, took the took the formula and took a step forward, but anyway, um, I'm really looking forward to playing it, um, I was sitting around yesterday wishing I could play it, seeing as the Destiny servers were foobard, but, uh, but yeah, let me know if you've been playing it, let me know what you think of it, um, I think the gear score stuff in this game has been kind of divisive, so I definitely want to hear some opinions on that. Um, let me know if you played Wildlands, let me know what you think of the series in general, Ubisoft, anything you want to say, let me know in the comments below, uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content, the next unboxing I'll have, hopefully, I'm not promising any days anymore, because last time I did that, this came a day late, <laughs> but it, it should be the Sega Mega Drive uh, Mini, um, which is the UK version of the Genesis, um, and then after that, I'm not, can't think off the top of my head, my brain is full of goop right now, um, but yeah, so if you hit the bell, you'll know when all that stuff goes live, anyway, um, I'll let you guys get on with your day, and I hope you have a good one.